What up, my niggas? It's me, your girl, Shanita So Fly. First of her name, baddest of bitches, rapper of Brooklyn. And this is Watch the Throne, where I'm giving you quick ass recaps of one of my favorite shows, Game of Thrones. Right now, I'm about to dive on into season five, and I must confess, I'm about to drop mass spoilers. So if you ain't about that life, may you take your walk of atonement now. Shame. All right, so boom, them niggas in the East want to be basic so bad. They want to keep on slaving and reopen the fighting piss. But Daenerys ain't with that shit, because that's that shit she don't like. So some punk ass niggas in gold masks named the Sons of the Harpy, they come and they start killing up everybody. The baddest baby kid of them all, Drogo the Dragon, he finally come back and he saves Daenerys, but then he drops her ass off in some field. Next thing you know, here come the Dothraki again, and then they capture her ass up. Marjorie is straight up Panini pressed to be queen. So she start pushing up on King Tommen, throwing that ass in a circle, and next thing you know, they married. Hustle hard, sis. Cersei is completely over it, so she puts the battery in the backs of some religious niggas called the Sparrows. They could basically do whatever they want in the name of the seven white Jesuses. Her cousin Lancel, who she used to fuck, who also helped her murder her husband, Robert Baratheon, he's their ride or die enforcer nigga. So they arrest the Knight of Flowers for being gay and they arrest Marjorie for being a down ass bitch and not being no snitch. Cersei pops out to the church to make sure everything's going according to her plan and they lock that ass up on sight. After mad torturing and bullshit by Scepter Unella, <laughs> Cersei finally confesses some of her sins. They wash her dirty ass down with Florida water, give her a haircut more fucked up than Arya's, and then they make her take a walk of atonement down Martin Luther King Boulevard, butt ass naked. <laughs> the poor people of King's Landing never liked her ass anyway, so they take this as an opportunity to start laughing, cussing, throwing food, and showing their dicks and shit. Jamie Lannister heads to Dawn because he heard niggas is talking about clapping his daughter needs Princess Marcella. The threats is legit from Elaria saying, Oberyn's boo thing. Just as Marcella's about to bounce, Elaria gives her the kiss of death. Literally, she had poison in her mouth, y'all. Which explains why a grown woman is kissing a little girl on the lips. <laughs> and just like that, y'all, it's a Rizzy for Cersei's second child. Peter the fuckboy Baelish says he's taking signs to the Winterfell when he really done arranged for her to marry that crazy ass nigga Ramsay Bolton. He slick talks her dumb ass into thinking it's a good idea. It's not. But eventually Theon, AKA Reek, AKA Theon, whoever he is at this point, he recognizes the real and helps her run away. Stannis is just like his hairline, y'all. He won't quit. Melisandre convinces him to keep burning up niggas in order to keep winning. But this time they talking about burning up his little daughter, Shireen. Shireen got a little eczema on her face or whatever, but she mad sweet and she be teaching niggas how to read. So Melisandre burns her little ass up while everybody watches. Game of Thrones is killing kids now, y'all. The Bolton's army rolls up on Stannis and he loses. Brianna Toth been watching in the cut the whole time. She swoops in and kills Stannis, just like she said she would. Remember y'all, she's avenging the death of Renly Baratheon at the hands of that demon shadow baby. Jon Snow heads to the Bronx to convince the Wildlands that he's a down ass nigga. Shit is going mass move until here come the White Walkers on their bullshit. Like 80,000 of them pull up with razor blades in their mouth and start killing everybody. So him and a few Wildland niggas, they get the hell up out of there. But before they go, the Night King decides he gonna stun on niggas right quick. He pops out with the flick of the wrist. Next thing you know, everybody who dead is now resurrected to the army of the dead. So they alive, but they dead. And this is when we realize that shit's about to be real fucked up. So when they get back, them hard-headed ass niggas at the wall, they ain't fucking with it because they don't like the Bronx. And they mad tight because John is cool with the Bronx niggas. So on the late night tip, the wall niggas decide to shank up Jon Snow. They each take turns stabbing that nigga and that angry ass little kid, Ollie, stabs Jon Snow right in the heart, y'all. And Jon Snow is dead, my niggas. All my boos keep dying. <laughs> and that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you join me next week when I recap season six of Game of Thrones. In the meantime, make sure you watch all my other recaps as well. Okay? Okay!